This is Robert Ray with the Associated Press driving from Houston, Texas to Dallas. I'm about midway through right now, and it appears, according to my Doppler radar on my iPhone, that I'm about to hit a very intense line of thunderstorms. Perhaps nothing worse than driving in hellacious rain, lightning, and perhaps tornadic activity. Here in Texas, 150 miles southeast of Dallas, driving through an incredible system that is crossing the state right now, that has been crossing the state all day. The rain is coming down so hard that it's hard to make my way through the interstate right now. I can feel the drag from from the amount of buildup. From time to time throughout this uh, this past 10 minutes, uh, occasionally I'll hear what, what is like a, like a boom! An amazing crackle, and I can actually feel it in the car, at the base of the car, as if uh, the ground is, uh, is shaking from the amount of, uh, of, of noise that the storm has given off. And again, it's impossible to see. You don't know. I do not know whether there is tornadic activity because it is the pitch black. And I would like to get off this road as quickly as possible, knowing how dangerous these storms can be. And also, what has occurred in and around Dallas all day today. And now it is pitch black, nighttime. And you don't know what's in front of you. You don't know what's happening. All you can tell is that the lightning is uh, coming down, the, the cracks, you can hear the cracks from the thunder, and the rain is relentless right now. No hail to date, but unbelievable. Oh my lord. I don't know if you could tell on that, but that was, uh, it's almost blinding. Uh, my, my, I'm seeing uh, dots, uh, to be honest with you right now, and I'm following a tractor trailer that has uh, vehicles on it, and so I'm trying to keep my distance just in case. The rain has stopped, so I just pulled off at this exit about 140 miles south of Dallas, Texas. And so I will uh, sit here and watch, as you can see in the distance, there's still lightning flashes. I'm going to call this place home, oh, some big ones right there, call this home for at least uh, the next 20 or so minutes and assess what's occurred in the area.